Well, good morning. Today I'm out for a wee walk up Binny and Nangabar, just under 600 metres, and maybe across to Ben Breck. I'm out with Pam and Amber, and we're in the Cashel Millennium Forest, forest of a thousand years. We're on the east side of Loch Lomond, uh, about four miles beyond Balmaha. Uh, and it's a cracking wee place if you want a quieter walk around about Loch Lomond, away from Conic Hill and the like. So we're going to take a wee walk around a, a, the hydro scheme, a mini hydro scheme here. And then we're going to follow the black path, which is supposed to be three hours, and then we're going to get beyond that, up there. This is owned and run by the Royal Scottish Forestry Society. I'm just going to take a wee walk around to the bottom hydro which is up there on the older path and then we're going to be heading up there there is a quicker way up, straight up track but we're going to take the, the forest track it's much more interesting maybe a wee walk around to Donald Jair Memorial Just coming up on the mini hydro. It uses a cashel burn. Pretty well heading out to the side. And it's a gravity fed hydro. And the electricity from this is used to help tick over the the cashel forest site. I'll show you the sluice gates and stuff further up the burn when we get around there. You'll see here the blue, red, black. Blue's just a wee 20 minute walk. And the red's meant to be an hour and a half to two and the black two and a half to three up to the Queen's View. Uh, we'll be taking the black and then going out beyond that. And it looks like Emma. She's a forest ranger for Cashel. And see what she's up to. Hiya. Hi. Hey, how's Emma? Hello. How are you, Emma? What are you up to today? Oh, I'm just checking on our rain gauge. Uh huh. Uh, we'd like to keep up with how much water the orchard is getting, which is plenty at the moment. And I was just having a quick look at a section of um, yellow rattle that we planted in the spring last year to see if there's anything coming up. Yellow... Um, yellow rattle. What is that? Um, it's a wildflower known as the meadow maker. Okay. It's a, it's a little yellow flower that's parasitic on grass. Right. So if you want to grow wildflowers, they can be outcompeted by grass if the grass ah, is too right. healthy. So it seems a bit mean, but you add the yellow flower, um, which knocks back the grass and lets the other flowers. Excellent. How's it going, Stan? <laughs> Not seen you far. Are we wild, buddy, eh? This year, anyway. This year? Yeah, what have yes. you been up to? Doing it at the Zerd on Saturday there we were. Doing the wards? Yeah, uh, doing it wards. Right, excellent. Well, we need to crack on because we, we come out late, we're short of time and we need to get moving. So, yeah, thanks. Nice to meet you again, guys. See you later. Come to this wee fork and see off to the left is the, the simple path and off to the right is the red and the black. We are going to take a wee walk down left, uh, just up to see the Donald Jordan Memorial. It takes 10 minutes. So we're going to cut down there, come back down there and head down there. Donald Jordan Memorial Cairns not marked but it is up here to the right. Pathway and Cairn in memory of Donald Dewar. Right, 
and be back via Conic Hill, 361 metres. We're going up a couple of hundred metres higher than that. Up that way. Uh, doing a lot of major path upgrades to the Conic. Currently closed at the moment. And I love the wee forest walk this, even if you're just doing the, the two and a half, three hour one. Look at that face. Eh? What's going on? What's going on? We turn off here to the right. If you keep going, there is a nice wee viewpoint up there, but the Queen's view is better up here, which we need to pass anyway to get on in the middle. Nice wee view of the islands. You get Kyla, Tor Inch, Cree Inch, Murren, and it's Ben Bowie up there. They're all part of the Highland Boundary Fault. And you get Fad down there, and that wee round one's Buck Inch, Crew in, Inch Moan, Inch Conic, and Inch Tavanach. A couple of smaller ones dotted in and about Elon Darach and Hinsco Braith, Cranock type islands. Stunning. <laughs> so I was just leaving the Black Root Nature Trail. If you're just doing that, you just head back down that track there. Or if you just come up to do Benny and Nangabar, Ben Breck, you can come straight up that track's a lot quicker. So we're heading up there into the into the bog and the fog and the clag. Numbers on the country lunch with beef and vegetables. Looks better than what I've got to be honest with you, an egg sandwich and a scotch egg. Well the scotch egg's actually a tangerine. And that's Benny and Nangabar just poking through the cloud now. Ben Breck's just off to the right, you can't see it. And we're going to head down through those gates to be five minute diversion across the top sluice, fill a water bottle, and we head out onto the open countryside. Well, we're in the forest now, uh, five, ten minutes we'll be out of this onto the moor. A great wee walk so far, and uh, any luck, we'll catch the sun out here and it'll clear for us. But it is two o'clock, so we need to get a bead on. The hill track peters out here, then we just zigzagging up a quad track, up through that light moor. The Benny and Nanga bar at the top there, it's 586 metres. Uh, peak of the goats and this is the kind of terrain we've got it's up here a few weeks ago it was frosty and icy much better but still not too bad there's an angle bar just coming out of the cloud now take a wee shot of this now in case we don't get any views at the top Just going to make our way up the side of the rocks here, and that's our first peak. On you go, show us the way. On you go, good girl. Then there's Conic, and obviously Loch Lomond in the cloud in the distance. Look at that light. There's Palmer going for Manfredo and you get Ben Lomond just behind that cloud there. It's up there about eight or nine days ago with uh, Frank and Paul. 
and that be hill there is a lesser hill in Angabar, but it's got better views over the loch. And it's a true summit in Angabar over there. And you're just going to neck up there. It has got great views over Loch Arthur, you know, the Queen Elizabeth Forest Park. And then over to Ben Brick. Yeah, this is on Binny and Angabar. A nice wee dub down there for water if you need it. You're camping up here. Beautiful. Hey Amber, beautiful! Right, we've come down off of there. We're just heading up to that trig point up there on Penbreck. And then we're going to go off a hill, starting to lose the light. Just need to negotiate this wee bit of bog. Extra careful on these things, heading up to your neck and beyond. Uh, and you ain't getting back out in a hurry anyway. A wee weather system coming in. Just go up there to go and we'll make a sharp exit. Last of our nice wee tree water house. Yeah, it's a fairly weather beaten track, this. That's where we were, up over the back end there. And it's getting really claggy now. And we've come down in among this wee, wee cluster. It looks like native Scots pine. Back out on a loch. I'm just going to wrap this wee video up here because we'll all be losing light soon. It's, it's about 25. So if you liked this video, Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell and we'll catch you on the next one.